Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. Manchester City against Bayern Munich. I'm Peter Drury, and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Thanks, Peter. Hello, everybody. We're ready to see what unfolds in this one now. And already we're underway here. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Sadio Mane. He's one of the paciest players around, Peter. He's a, a very dangerous dribbler and a fine finisher to boot. I particularly like the way he gives defenders a headache by drip. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Now it's Sane, and the weighted pass. Caught offside that time. Yeah, he was off, ever so slightly, but he was off. Ruben Diaz. Alvarez with the ball through. Hartland looking to get on the end of this. He's gone for it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Bayern Munich trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Bayern Munich have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Chupomoting! He's going after it. And he's cut it out. Aimed long and direct. Oh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Ball's loose, who's getting there? 
Aimed in, shoots! Oh, that probably deserved better. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. De Bruyne. Kimmich. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Hartland. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Goretzka. Mane. Chupa Morting. Mane. So what's he planning here? Deftly done. Ederson can pick that up. And it's Alvarez. Sabitza. That'll be the last act of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Manchester City come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. There is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Manchester City carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Greenish plays it towards the front. Hardland heads it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. That's a real disappointment as well, after he worked so hard to just get into position and get on the end of that in the first place. A lot of effort for very little reward. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Chupa Morting. Sabitza. Coma. Hoist it high. João Cancelo. Does well there, alert, into the channel, Alvarez passes it, has a swing at it, they've scored! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Manchester City have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Could move up a gear here. Laporte positions himself well and cuts it out. Coleman with a long pass out wide. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Pavard lobs it in gently. Oh, that's a waste. Bayern Munich look as though they're about to make a change.
defence is, is weary of their opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Looks like a good ball through. Shapes the shoots! De Bruyne pulls off an exemplary piece of defending. Now it's Grealish. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Goretzka. More than happy to take the muscular approach. It's a loose ball. Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? Bayern Munich have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Mane. And it's Phillips. Has he picked him out? This could fall anywhere! There is the final whistle. Manchester City always looked the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game and goal scorers, but there's an art to good defence too, and their organisation and discipline has helped earn this win. My thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.